What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic, back again with another video. And today, man, I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to come with a little bit of sneaker news and also an unboxing. Something different, man. Not a Jordan, not a Nike, not a Yeezy, not any type of Adidas. Something very different. But we're going to get into this last. First things first, let's talk about these Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott or Travis Scott Air Jordan 6s. Uh, from what the word is on the street, from like Sneaker News, J23 app, and all the big um sneaker youtubers uh the date on the travis scott sixes has been pushed back to october i seen something about october what october 6 let me verify that oh so i did see something from nice kicks in october 12th the air jordan 6 travis scott is supposed to drop so be on the lookout for that yes it's been pushed back i think um it's either gonna be two things with these they're either gonna be a mass general release which is a good thing because everybody get to get their Travis Scott like everybody is able to get their Yeezy, hopefully. Um, or these things are gonna be so limited and all I can say is bro, be ready to spend the cash, man. And be careful, be on the watch out for the hook cause, cause bro, from what I'm hearing, these Travis Scott sixes are twice as better uh, than the ones when it comes to the fake. So. Just be careful, man. I would say just be patient. If you don't get them for uh, retail, you know, just take it slow, man. We got to slow down on this. Next thing's next, man. Uh, one of the biggest shoes I've been kind of on the lookout for and been waiting for is the, the Nike Saka joints. Um, you got the pine green. You have that black and white and that white on white pair. You know, it's going to be pictured somewhere on the screen. Um, I would say now if you're looking to enter any raffles, for me, I know BTSN was a good one and also... Was it? I think the SNS app is also a good raffle. Um, I haven't seen anything else about these, but also be on the lookout for this Saturday, the 14th, for the actual drawing on the sneakers app. So be on the lookout for those. Also, we have the Air Jordan 3 Knicks that's dropping this week. Gonna be a match GR. You should be able to get those with no trouble. Don't stretch yourself. If you want them, you'll get them. Um, if anything changes and they sell out, surprisingly, I want y'all to roast me in the comments for it. On top of that, we have the Nike Hirachi Adapt. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to those. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy those because I definitely want to see how they are in person as far as tech specs, see how they're gonna do. I think those drop September. Those drop September 13th. Um, you have the Opti yellow pair and the white and black pair. So that's definitely gonna be a dope sneaker. Also, on the 14th, you have the Supreme Col Supreme collab that came out, the Nike SB Supremes. They dropped last Thursday for the you know for the fall collection. I think it's the third week of fall collection. Um, but they'll be dropping also on the sneakers app. I would say if anything, if you don't really want these um, and you're trying to cop the flip, I would go for all small sizes. If you really want these in your size, you should be good to cop. Let's say you wear like a bigger size, like 10, 10 and a half and up, you should be pretty okay. Might be a little rough with box and stuff, but other than that, you should be okay. But the smaller sizes, if you're trying to give them the flip, be ready for a little rumble with it because everybody's going to be going for those sizes to flip. So, you know, if you didn't get them on the drop last week, Thursday, go for them again. This, uh, what is that? The 14th is what day? Uh, the 14th is going to be Saturday. So, if you didn't get them last Thursday, you got another chance this Saturday. Finally, what else do you have on here? that I thought was an interesting thing that's coming out this weekend. Um, I don't know if y'all seen the, I don't know if that, what, what is that? Air Jordan 30, was that 34? I think that's the Air Jordan 34. I think we saw, I don't know if y'all seen that clip of Zion doing the crazy like, do the leg slam. That was crazy, man. Um, I think that shoe is okay. Um, I'm definitely not going for it. it. Definitely for people that ball, you know, ball is life with those right there. So all the people that ball, it looks like that's gonna be a good balling shoe. I don't know anything about the specs, how it's gonna be, none of that. But I do think the colorway is dope. I think it's a dope shoe. Just it, like I said, if you ball and you know you be on the court, you know that's definitely a shoe to go for. Um, 
I don't know if it's gonna sell out or not just because of the fact that it, uh, you know Zion was kind of promoting it or was in it during that whole fiasco of the dunk. So I don't know if it's gonna sell out or sit, but I would say if you're interested in it, go for it. It's kind of on offensive, it's gonna sit or sell. As of right now, um, I think that's all the, the shoes from Nike and Jordan brand that I, you know, I'm interested in talking about. So y'all be on the lookout for all that stuff, man. Y'all make sure y'all go for it. Like I say, Thursday, I mean, Friday and Saturday is gonna be those real good days for releases. Again, you got the Supreme drop, you got the Nike Sakai drop, you got the Air Jordan 3 drop, you have the Nike Adapt Hirachi drop. So a lot of stuff um, dropping this weekend. So, you know, man. Nike show sure know how to hit your heart with the, uh, you know, hit your card, bro. Hit your heart and hit your card real hard. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to go for a bunch of that stuff this weekend. I'm not going for the Air Jordan 3 uh, Knicks, but I do think it's a hard sneaker, you know what I mean? If I was into copying different colorways like that, I would, but I already had the white cement 3s, the 88, so it's no point in me grabbing those. And I had the black cement 3, so for right now, I'm pretty much good if it's not OG. Now, the most important part, you know, so you can stay or you can skip, whatever. But I do have an unboxing. Let's grab that. Here's the box right here. Crazy little box. Uh, my brother, uh, my brother picked this up a little minute, man. So it's a nice little box. Let me go ahead and get my uh, clickbait on it. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah, here's the box. Something different, man. Something really, really different. You know, don't know how y'all gonna like it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. It's a big box. And I don't know if this is a collaboration or not, but I know it has a lot going up, up, hold up. Up, up. He already opened it, so I guess he saw it. And boom. It says on the side, choose your own style. And we have on the back here, as you can see, it is a new balance and new era. I guess collaboration, which is pretty dope. Again, you see choose your own style on that side. Ah, this is dope, man. They got this whole, just to let y'all know, man, it seems like a lot of people, they don't give a lot of credit to like Jordan Brand, but trust me, bro. People, they, they've been doing this with their like um, packages for a long time, man. So to see something like this is crazy. To see something like this is crazy, man. To see this kind of dual box setup. If you look at all the old Jordan packages, bro, this is what this is coming in. So it's dope to see like some of these companies take note, you know, get that inspiration from Jordan brand and do such a thing. So um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and read the, see what it is. It don't really tell me on the actual thing, on the actual label. It does say uh, classics, traditionals, men's size 12. Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the, uh, the actual code for this is CM. 997H9E, and I'm guessing the colorway is medium mullion. So, you know, let's see how that goes. There's a size 12. See if it focuses right there. You know, y'all let me know. Have y'all heard of these before? I never heard of it, but you know, bro told me to do a review, so I'm gonna do a review on it. So, okay, that's different. That's different. Okay, okay. So right here we have a hat. Oh yeah, we have a little hat right here. I'm not gonna open it up, but it looks like it's a hat and it has different straps in it. So I'm guessing they allow you to maybe swap out the strap bags. That'd be, that's dope. That's crazy dope. Um, I don't like that it's just a plain gray and it got different textures on it and different grays, but you know, I just don't like it being an all plain hat. I wish it was like New Balance on it or New Era or something. Get into the sneakers right here. This is different, man. I think this is dope. I know my Jordan has and Nike has and Adidas has it going nuts. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, you know, you gotta try something different, man. You gotta keep keep it keep it going. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up with y'all. Let me get on this side. Go ahead and lift this down and boom and boom. Ah, dope, 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 dope. Ah, okay. Something different, something different. What are these? These are the New Balance 997H. I'm not really big on New Balances, so don't kill me. 
I know a lot of people from up north, Jersey, uh, and all those places up north, they be on their new balances. Don't kill me, you know. Don't kill me. I, it says 997H. I heard of 997s, and I think I had some. Don't kill me again. I think it's 556 or 5. Yeah, I think it's 556. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Six. Hang on, let me check. Oh, uh, back when I worked at Foot Locker, I had a pair of five, five, uh, five, seven, fours. Woo! Way off, bro. Sorry about that to all my New Balance fans, but yeah, man. Here you go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Something very different, man. Again, you have a five, five, seven New Balance. Five, five, seven. You have a nine, nine, seven H New Balance, size twelve. Um, and I'm guessing the whole thing is, you know, choose your own style, follow no one. Um, I think it's just a collaboration with New Era and New Balance. Uh, I think this is a pretty dope. Um, if you, let's go ahead and start from the bottom, man. It's something different. You have a, you know, um, you have a nice little plastic bottom right here. It doesn't really feel like any tractions on it, except on the heel and also around the toe box area. This middle area has no like real traction on it. I don't know if these are more for running, but here you go. You got that black hit right here in the center on the out area um, of the heel of the bottom of the shoe. You got a gray hit and then on the toe area on the bottom, you have another gray hit. Work our way to the midsole. Um, you have a gray and black kind of midsole. It's not black. It's not fully gray. It's kind of that smoke, smoke gray look on it on the midsole. Um, and it does look very comfortable. It is a size 12, so I couldn't tell you what it's, what it's gonna feel like. I don't even know if my brother bought these to wear or flip or what, what. But shout out to Lucky. But anyways, we work our way up to the upper. Let's work at the toe box. So right here on the toe box, let's see. So right here on the toe box, you have this kind of, what is it, like a net woven? Nah, some type of canvas material right here. Pretty decent, I don't know if you can hear that. Nice, nice material. Same thing on the toe box, another gray hit area. Now on the sides, you have like this smooth leather. Um, there's nothing crazy, no crazy materials at all. Um, right here, you have this kind of woven, stitched in. Oh, oh, hold up, oh, hold up, hold up, oh shoot. I saw I saw a little, little thing, so I said, oh, okay, okay. All right, so, boom. That's dope, we got removable, uh, Got these removable New Balance uh, logos right here. I guess that's what comes along with this. Up, oh, it makes sense. So right here you have a, a package of like uh, detachable or but or removable New Balance logo ends. Um, you got uh, laces, one orange with that looks like 3M hits. You got a lime green with the 3M hits. You got the green with the 3M hits. And you got a blue with the 3M hits. Dope, dope, dope. That's a dope touch. I don't wear New Balances at all, but I think that's a very dope touch for those that wear them. Um, around the kind of, like I said, that area where you can do the removable uh, logo, the removable in, um, it looks like these 3M, 3M hits, which is pretty dope. You do have these kind of like red laces. I would say kind of like, like a cherry red, light cherry red lace with the 3M hits on the actual emblem right there. Hopefully you can see it. You do have that new era. Let's see if you can see it. You do have that new era lace um, accessory right here, which is pretty dope. Let's see if you can see it. Hopefully, yeah. So hopefully you can see that. Um, on the other areas, man, like I say, it's just this kind of soft leather, but it is like 3M. So I think that's a dope touch all the way around. And the sock liner, it's a gray sock liner. And again, on the heel, you have other gray hits with that canvas on the heel. Um, and also around the, you know, collar of it also got those great hits and more 3M hits right there. Yeah, man, it's pretty decent shoe. I think uh, this is definitely dope. Uh, shout out to New Balances, uh, New Balance for, you know, doing something like this for people that are really into the sneakers like that. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like they did something like, you know, like Nike does allow allow the customers to kind of do their own type of creativity with the sneaker itself. It says choose your on the actual insole. It says choose your, and then on this one it says choose your own. So choose your own style. That's dope. So I think these are gonna be hella comfortable, man. Uh, definitely dash shoeish, 
Not a big fan of dad shoes too much because I'm a heftier dude, so them dad shoes be looking very bulky on me, so I try to pass on them. They look bulky and bulky, so we try to pass on those type of, type of uh, kicks right there, but I don't know anything about New Balances, but I think this is a dope little review, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the shoe in the comments. Again, man, it's a decent shoe. Y'all let me know, man. Y'all like me doing like the sneaker news at all? Like, I've been wanting to get into it, but I don't try to really, you know, force anything. But I thought it's a few shoes that's coming out that I wanted to talk about. So, y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want me to keep coming with that type of, uh, the sneaker news vibes. You know what I mean? I did have a concept for another thing. I'm going to also do that later. But y'all let me know in the comments what you thought about that. Let me know what you thought about the not, uh, let me know what you thought about the New Balances, man. It's an okay shoe. What I caught, probably not. Um, this is for the people that's into the weird shit, into the uh, runners, you know what I mean? Into the, the dad vibes that are into New Balances and the 997s and the 574s and, you know, all that jazz, man. This is for y'all, you know? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can stay in tune with what goes down over here at my channel. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Yes, we have the new balances today. Eh, I don't think no money calling me. But I think that vibes are calling me, so. Y'all let me know what's going on. I'm out.